Motherfucker Mike here once again from Cinemassacre.com and today I have for you Banjo 2 E glitches for the Nintendo 64. Now not all the glitches that I'm gonna do here are necessarily helpful, but they're just fun things that you can do in the game. So Banjo 2 E glitches, let's go. In Witchy World, you can climb the walls with Kazooie. If you see footprints, you can scale the wall up to a little cave. You need the claw clamor boots, which are suction cups, to go up the wall. To get the boots, you have to go to Grunty Industries, then talk to Jam Jar, and he teaches it to you. Anyway, get the boots, which are on top of the big tent. To get up there, you have to run up the ropes, which can be a bit tricky. Once you have them, run to the wall with the footprints. In this cave, there's a sign on the wall. Looks ordinary enough, but if you try climbing onto the sign, you'll pass through the ceiling. While you're in here, you can shoot eggs and look around. What the hell part of the game am I even looking at? It's like the back view of some random cave. Oh well, let's shoot the fucker. That's neat, but best of all, if you try jumping, you'll fall through the level. This is so glitched! There's another small trick you can try in Witchy World. Head for the shock spring pad behind the ticket booth. With Kazooie, stand on the pad and hold A, and you'll do the shock jump spring. Run forward a bit to get them close enough to reach the wall. If done correctly, Banjo can grab onto a strange ledge in the middle of the wall. You're not supposed to be able to grab a ledge in the middle of a bush. I tried to see if you could get up there, but it didn't seem to work. Bummer. Early in the game, if you're at the Jinjo village, you can make one of the enemies disappear. If you go to the area with the rocks, keep circling around the smaller one. Have him follow behind you on the south side of the rock. If done right, he'll completely vanish! Come back and fight, asshole! On floor one of Grunty Industries, you'll find the workers' quarters. Go inside where the refrigerator and mirror are. Watch out for the flying enemies. Yow! It's okay, though, because you can take them down with your eggs. Blam! Anyway, go near the mirror. If you hit Z, then A, you'll jump into the air. While you're coming down, press B, and Kazooie will peck, but his reflection comes out of the mirror. Isn't that bizarre? This next one's very easy. Just go to Jolly Roger's Lagoon and fire some eggs into the sun. The sun will go dark and the sky will dim. <laughs> Imagine if you threw an egg at the sun in real life and the sky got dark. Just don't let anyone see you throwing eggs into the sky. You might get taken away to the mental ward. Right near the same spot, there's another glitch that shouldn't be possible to do. Go to the tall cliff over here. It certainly doesn't look like you can go over there because the rock is so steep. But guess again, because you can actually walk on this wall. It seems like you should just slide right off, but you can walk around as you please. When did Banjo become Spider-Man? This glitch is in Smuggler's Cavern, through this house in Jolly Roger's Lagoon. You can walk under the water by going through a particular part of the wall. Finding the exact spot in the wall to swim into is the hard part. The only advice I can really give is that there's some eggs down on the floor you can see. Search the wall to the right of that. You'll have to feel around for a while, but eventually you'll fall through the floor. Come on, where is it? Oh, oh, there we go! Now you can explore this area on foot instead of swimming. You can jump around the platforms like normal, even though you're supposed to be underwater. Metal Mario, eat your heart out. For the last glitch I have today, you'll need the clockwork egg. Go to Hailfire Peaks to the ice side. Split up Banjo and Kazooie so you're only controlling Kazooie. Go to Boggy's Igloo. Walk out the door with Kazooie and shoot the egg at the exact same time. The timing has to be just right or it won't work. If done right, when it explodes, you'll respawn, but this time as Banjo. That's weird since we were just using Kazooie, but it gets better. Now take Banjo back inside Boggy's Igloo. You'll see there's another Banjo in there now. It's his clone! The game is confused when Kazooie and Clockwork Kazooie exit the room at the same time. The game can't handle it, and it goes crazy. I tried the second controller, but nothing happened. Too bad you can't play with two of them. Maybe this is the reason the game is called Banjo Tooie. There's fucking two of them! Well, I hope you like Banjo Tooie glitches. Maybe sometime we'll do some from the original game, Banjo Kazooie. But until next time, motherfucker Mike, out.